What's good with y'all, man? Today's video, we got a very important video. I'm not gonna do too much talking in this video because I got a clip that I really, really, really want y'all to see. When y'all see this clip, watch this whole entire video because this video is gonna give you all the information you need on what's going on in Texas. I made a video last night telling y'all that right now what's going on in Texas is an experiment. They use in Texas as an experiment to test out the weather manipulating system. Texas never been cold. It, 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 it'll never get cold. You feel what I'm saying? They, they use in Texas as a testing right now. Literally, it's people losing their life. It's people in their house frozen that nobody know about. They just dead in their house frozen, y'all. They don't got no food. They don't got no water. They don't have no, nothing, no power. They've been out. They've been without power for days. And, and it's, the crazy part is all of these rappers that you be seeing out here, all these celebrities, they ain't promoting none of this shit. They just out living life, turning up. Meanwhile, this is why I be telling y'all, man, celebrities is the piece of shit. Because when some real shit go on and, 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 and it's some stuff that hit the fan, these niggas got all of the attention around their name. They got all these followers. They got all this fame. But they don't do nothing to, to, to try to contribute and to helping out. You feel what I'm saying? If I was as, if I was as big as the baby and all these big ass rappers, I would be promoting this shit. Letting people know what's really going on in Texas. These, these, these niggas got all this fame, but don't never do nothing to contribute to try to help. It's kids out here that's losing their life right now, sleeping in their cars. They don't got no power. They ain't got shit. It's colder than a motherfucker out in Texas. People's houses is caving in because the, the, the roofs is falling in due to the ice and, and all the water. People's pipes is being busted. They ain't got no cold water. They can't boil your hot water because there's no power. I'm telling y'all, bro, we need to wise up. But right now, this is the time that we need to come together. We never going to get anywhere when we just divide it. We got to come together and, 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 and put our fucking hands up and realize, nigga, we are being tested on. We are being played. The same people we put in control and go vote for is the same niggas that's trying to kill us. Ain't that some bullshit? We get up every day. When, when the election, when it's election time, we get up every day and go vote for the, the, the same niggas we vote for is the same niggas that want us killed. The same nigga we go, oh, Biden, Biden, Biden. This is the same nigga that's planning this bullshit. Y'all do know this, right? I'm telling y'all, bro, we need to wise up and come together and realize we the ones that's controlling the narrative. We the ones. We got we got a choice to, to vote for these niggas. We got a choice. to. We got choices. I ain't going to do too much talking. My email will be linked in the description. What I want y'all to do is share this video. Uh, like the video. We be getting like two, three thousand views on these videos and it don't get a thousand likes. We need to be raking a thousand likes every video. If you rock with me, like the video. Like it. We need to get this shit out here. Like the video. They gave me a strike on my other channel for talking the real shit and speaking the real shit. But yeah, you can't get rid of me. I'm a man of integrity. I'm a man of spreading positive messages. I'm a man of spreading the truth. The world needs to know the truth of what's going on in Texas. People is losing their life thinking that it's just because the weather. It's not the weather. This is the plan. This was all planned and designed to kill these people. And I just want y'all to know, I made a video. My last video, I was telling y'all to prepare. Texas is not the only place that's going to be going through this. I want y'all to know that. Pretty soon, they're going to be doing this shit all over the state. they just testing it out right now. You see how good it's working in Texas? How many people losing their life in Texas? You mean to tell me they're not going to do this in every other state? California, South Carolina, Miami, Mississippi. I'm telling y'all, bro. Everywhere that's hot, they finna be doing the same exact shit. So be prepared. This is why I tell y'all, y'all need to be shopping for flashlights, water, stock up on food. This is the stuff that you need to be stocking up on. Flashlights, food, okay? Batteries, a lot of them, okay? Candles, lighters, lanterns, different things like that that you can use when the power go out because we don't know what's going on. Um, portable chargers, so you don't gotta plug your charger up into the wall. When the power go out, you ain't even gonna have to. You ain't even gonna be able to use your phone because you can't plug the shit up to the wall. There's no power. You need to be buying portables, portable chargers, different things like that. I'm done talking. Send me uh videos that y'all feel like I need to see. My emails in the description. I'm out. I love y'all, man. I would be more grateful. So I'm here to tell you what's going on in Texas. This is an update, and I need y'all to share this long and wide. Okay. We have been without power in Texas. Our power is being controlled um, by Ep Epcot. I believe that's the name. Ercot. 
our, our power is being controlled. So everybody's lights is not out in Texas. Houston, Dallas, everybody's lights are not out in Texas. But they have randomly selected who is going to be without lights and who will. We have been five days without lights. No, we don't come from the poor community. No, we are not, you know, receiving handouts or any of that. Not to say that there's nothing wrong with those who do, but we are not. We stay in a middle class area. We are paying hundreds of dollars, hundreds of dollars. Every month for uh, for people from Ep Ep Encore and Epcot to come out and read our meters. Okay, so there should be no reason why we have been without power for five days. Okay, there is no gas here. They are trying to kill us, y'all. I need y'all to share this long, strong, and wide. They are trying to kill us. We don't have food. The shelves are empty. The restaurants don't have trucks delivering food to them. And, and some of them are not even allowed to be open because of the power usage that they will use. Okay, so we have that problem. We also have the water problem now, you guys. The water is contaminated because the pipes, the power went out and the pipes are frozen. And so now we have contaminated water. We have contaminated water. We don't have water in the stores on the shelves. We have contaminated water now, okay? So that's another issue. We don't have gas. For those that have left the comfort of their homes or the coldness, excuse me, the freezing climax of their homes to sit in their cars to try to get a little bit warm, now we don't have gas. There's a gas shortage. Why? Because trucks are not being allowed to come in here. We cannot receive blankets or anything from people wanting to just donate blankets. We cannot receive those things. Why? Because they have been told that they cannot deliver here in Dallas, Texas. That's where I'm reporting from and in Houston as well, okay? So we have that issue. We don't know what day our lights are going to come back on. They're saying that they don't know what day our lights are going to come back on. So we have that issue. So now we don't have water. We don't have power. We are still freezing. Snow is still frozen on the ground. So we are still freezing. We don't have food. We don't have a way out. How is Ted Cruz on an airplane to Cancun, Mexico, and we can't get out of here? They are ticketing folks that are on the road because the road is dangerous. So how is he able to catch a flight out of here? Okay? They are trying to kill us. No food. The basic essentials. Food. Heat, warmth, water, we don't have that. Gas, resource, we don't have that. Power, we don't have that. And I need the news people to know, good morning America, all those people that like to broadcast news, I need them to hear it from somebody that's real live and active in the situation and not from what's being reported because what's being reported is a lie. And for all of those that are going around sharing that FEMA's paying for rooms, when you call that number, it's a porn site. When you call that number, it's a technical, uh, uh, technical, uh, uh, you know, where they help you fix technical issues. So that is a lie. FEMA ain't doing anything. Where is Joe Biden? Where is the president of the United States? And no, this ain't about politics, but you the president. You haven't even addressed it. Where is Kamala Harris? None of them have addressed that people are out here in Texas dying. This is an attack. Okay? There is nothing else other than this but an attack. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and end the live, and I'm going to start another one so I can show y'all live and direct from here in Dallas. Not what you're hearing on the news because they lying. They said that they have a right to control who gets power and who doesn't. Who's critical? That's what they say. We're determining who's critical and who's not. We have not had power in five days. I have two twin girls, 15-month-old, that cannot be in shelters and in homes around everybody else because she was injured at the hospital. So she just got off a of heart medication. The devil is a liar. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying is, without a fight, we better come together and we better stick together and we better raise up and we better sound the alarm. Why? Because they are trying to kill us. And for all of those that are looking from the outside, what's going on in Texas, be soon because they coming near to you. In California, they're already talking about rolling blackouts. In different parts of the state, they're already talking about rolling blackouts, okay? So I'm telling you right now, Pizza Hut don't even have enough. I went to Pizza Hut yesterday, ordered 30 pizzas so we could feed the people in the hotel rooms. The hotels are price gouging. I went outside and talked to a person that was leaving. I said, did your power come back on? They said, no, but we can't stay here. We paid $1,000 in five days for a room that allowed people to come out and let their dogs poop and urinate. It's unsafe. 
And the warming centers, let me say this in closing, the warming centers that they're telling everybody that they can go to, the warming centers are asking you, have you been vaccinated? Oh, and one more thing, don't let me forget this. You know how we, we've we been made to stand in lines, even in freezing temperature where your skin is falling off, where you are developing hypothermia uh, uh, within five to ten minutes, okay? We are made to stand outside because we can't go inside the stores all in, collectively because of COVID, but we can all gather together in the warming uh centers. We can gather together. We can do that there. We can gather together in the hotel rooms. That's not a problem. But you know why you can't gather in, inside of Walmart and you can't, you got to stand in those long lines because even in the midst of all of this, they still got CDC officials uh, finding the people if they are over capacity. They still want the six feet rule in place. They still want to I said a pandemic. They trying to kill us out here. If you want to see the information, because I want y'all to share this. You know, I know everybody got a microwave mentality. They want you to say what they want you to say in five minutes or less. So here go your five minutes. Share that. Share that. Tell them Dr. Tawana Worlds is in Texas, live on the ground, been delivering food and blankets and everything else. We ain't got no generators. People that have been using gas generators, guess what? They don't have no gas. So that means more people will freeze. And, and, and the National Guard is supposed to be coming through to do welfare checks. Do you know how much, how high the death rate will go up once they do the welfare checks? Now, if I show y'all these next videos and these next pictures that I'm getting ready to show y'all, and you see that the way stuff is frozen in their house, if you don't believe that people is dead in there, then something's wrong with you. I'm telling you right now, I'm asking you right now, I'm asking you right now. This is bigger than, than, than black or white or red and blue and politics and Dems and lefts. This is bigger than that. This is bigger than that. And I have been sounding the alarm and warning the people for quite some time, but now it's here upon us. Too late for shoulda, coulda, woulda. Now it's time for us to do something for one another. It's time for us to come together, build our own stuff. We ain't got no food. They put a red flag yesterday and said after... All the snow melt, then they'll access the damage. We ain't got no food, y'all. There ain't no water. There ain't no clean water. They say boil the water, but how can you boil the water with no power? How can you boil the water if you're using gas uh, 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 appliances to, to stay warm? How could you boil the water? They trying to kill us, y'all. I'm telling y'all, share it with everybody. Where's Beyonce? Where's Where's all these people? Where's all these uh, 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 Black Lives Matter? Where are all they at? Tag them. Please do something. Tag Joe Biden. Tag all of them. Tag Kamala. Tag everybody. Tag all of these officials that got us divided against one another while they in their warm houses and people are dying. Yes. This was a pandemic. This was planned. And the reason why we without power is not because the storm put the power out. The reason why we are without power is because they choose and pick and choose who going to get power so that they can save their grid. Ain't that something? So you would rather die to save your grid. Well, it could be worse. If the whole grid go out, it could be worse. Everybody could be...